guys, it's Natalie Domino. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you do not know who I am, I am a Roman Catholic YouTuber and I do YouTube videos on all things Catholicism. So if you're Protestant, Catholic, or whoever you are, you are welcome here. Please like and subscribe so that you can get more content like this. So by the thumbnail and the title of today's video, you can tell most likely, probably, that I'm going to be giving you a little tour and a how-to, I guess, on how to set up a prayer corner. So where I film my videos is basically my little prayer corner. So you see it in a lot of the videos. I have my little saint pictures up here. I have my books. I have my Mary statues, my flowers, my chair, my cozy lights, everything like that. So I'm gonna go into this prayer corner, show you things you can do to add to yours and yeah so I'm just going to give a little tour and I'm going to talk about what's necessary for a prayer corner and what you can add and things that I like to do in my prayer corner. So a quick little overview of my prayer corner. This is basically the corner. So I will go into the specifics now. So I'll start off with my little saint heart that I have in my room. So if you haven't seen already, I have a room tour, so I go into like detail with these, but basically these are just saint um, cards that I get that I just collect and I add them to my wall and I have pictures of our blessed mother all over here and then a really nice crucifix. So this just helps me, you know, be surrounded by the saints and the angels and Mother Mary and Jesus, whenever I'm praying, I just feel like at home over here and it's very calming. So I feel like it's good to have like some sort of images that you can look at when you're praying because I, you know, I can get distracted easily. I think we all can during prayer. So having images of people that are actually in heaven with Jesus when you're praying, it helps make things more real, at least to me. So... Then over here, we you saw an overview, but I have my chair. So this green chair I got from Wayfair. I'll try to link it down below for you guys, but I love the chair. It has a really cute like aesthetic to the room and to the corner, and it's actually very comfortable. It's like nice leather cushioned. So yeah, that's the chair that I put right in the corner. So then moving over here, I have my little... Well, it's not that little, but I mean, I don't know. I think it's, what is it, five-tiered bookshelf. So I have, like, my other books down there, but my Catholic, Christian, philosophy, theology, those type of books up here. And, yeah, so basically what I do, I have this five-tiered bookshelf off of Amazon that I'll try to link below for you guys. But I have this scarf above it that actually my mom got in India when she helped at Mother Teresa's orphanage, crazy story. And I have a plant up there and this beautiful like statue of Mary and Jesus and that she also got from India. And so I love the plant because it adds like some life to the space. So yeah, and then I have these beautiful lights that I just string to make it super cozy. I feel like it adds a really cozy little vibe to the area, if you know what I mean. And then coming down over here, I have these flowers. I just think it's super cute. And I have this beautiful image of Mary. Um, this statue is pray for us, the sacred heart, like of Mary's heart. And then more plants, a candle that I can burn. And then, yeah, I also have up here, um, sorry for the noise if you can hear that, but I have a crucifix and then the Hail Mary because I just think that's so beautiful. So yeah, this is like my desk space, but also my prayer space. So it's just over here. It's really nice to like sit here and the books are easily accessible to when I'm reading. And then I do not actually have my rosaries hanging up over here. I have them over in the corner over there because I like to fill my whole room with like Catholic things, not just like my little prayer corner but it's easily accessible right over there. I have my rosaries hanging up so I can just grab it and sit down here and pray my rosary. Um, and I also, what I like to do, I have my Bible right now on my bench right over here, but let me grab it. 
So I have my Bible and I just keep it open to whatever I'm feeling for that day or week or whatever. And so a lot of the times I can just place it right here on my desk and so I can sit there and read. And yeah, I just love my little prayer space over here. And I want to encourage you guys too to have a little prayer space because it keeps a room, like a certain part of your room, like sacred. But also I encourage you to spread it out all throughout your room so it's not just a certain part of your room is holy, but your whole room. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please like and subscribe down below if you haven't already and turn on that notification bell so you know when I post, I post every Wednesday and then any other time throughout the week if I feel like it. I also do shorts, I'll do community posts a lot so that we can talk and I also have an email down below so if you want to email me, feel free to email me. Email me. <laughs> and yeah, I love you guys so, 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 so much and so does God. St. Mary Magdalene, pray for us. Have a blessed day, y'all.